Hello Church family, this is Paul Guilhero. Welcome to this week's study on living the Christian life. There is a story told about a king who asked his cook to prepare the best dish in the world. And the cook served him a dish of tongue. So then the king instructed his cook to serve him the worst dish in the world. And again, the cook served him a dish of tongue. The king was puzzled, so he asked the cook why he had served tongue as the best and worst and worst of dishes. The king replied, uh, the cook replied, O oh, king, there is nothing as wonderful as a tongue that is wisely and kindly used, and there is nothing as devastating as a tongue that is carelessly and unkindly used. My friends, Words are not simply sounds caused by air passing through our larynx. Words have real power. God spoke the world into existence by the power of His words. And we are in His image in part because of the power we have with words. The power of our words can actually destroy one's spirit, even stir up hatred and violence. They not only aggravate wounds, but inflict wounds directly. It can sway men to violence, or it can move them to the noblest actions. It can instruct the ignorant, encourage the rejected, comfort the sorrowing, smooth the dying, soothe the dying, or it can crush the human spirit, destroy reputations, spread distrusts and hate, and bring nations to the brink of war. Of all the creatures on this planet, only man has the ability to communicate through the spoken word. The power to use words is a unique and powerful gift from God. Our words have the power to destroy and the power to build up. The writer of Proverbs Tell us, the tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. That's Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21. Are we using words to build up people or destroy them? Are our words filled with hate or love, bitterness or blessing, complaining or compliments, lust or love, victory or defeat? Like tools, they can be used to help us reach our goals or send us spiraling down into a deep depression. With a tongue, we can make people laugh or we can make them cry. With a tongue, we can encourage people or discourage people. We can build them up or tear them down. With our words, we can refresh people or intimidate them, and we can uplift people or condemn them. With our words, we can build good marriages or destroy marriages. We can develop good friendships or break friendships with our words. Words are powerful. And this is what God says to us about the tongue and our words in the book of James chapter 3 verses 3 to 10. It says there, when we put bits into the mouths of horses to make them obey us, we can turn the whole animal or take ships as an example. Although they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are steered by a very small rudder wherever the pilot wants to go. Likewise, the tongue is a small part of the body, but it makes great boasts. Consider what great forest is set on fire by a small spark. The tongue is also a fire, a world of evil among the parts of the body. It corrupts the whole person, sets the whole course of his life on fire, and is itself set on fire by hell. My friends, we have been given an amazing power for good or evil in the words that we use. 
let us therefore ensure that our words are good, that they build up and bring warmth and encouragement to other people. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we know that our tongue often gets ahead of our minds and hearts. At times, we are quick to speak and we repent of the many thoughtless things we have spoken. Lord, we are sorry for the words we have spoken in our anger and in loose talk. Please help us to see when we are about to speak without thinking, to help us to check our hearts, help us to be slow to speak. Help us, Lord, that our words are good, that they build up and bring warmth and encouragement to people. Help us, Lord, to be full of loving words, full of your spirit, overflowing with love, with joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, and self-control. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. Thank you for joining us this week, church family. Always remember to live your life for the glory of God. See you next week.